Hey y'all, will a trip back in time really save Daniel's Christmas? Hmm, something to think about. For reviews. If you're new here on this channel, I share with you delightful, family friendly, and faith based movies and television shows. So, we're going to go ahead and get into our special feature today, which is titled Bringing Back Christmas. And you can actually find this film streaming right now for free on YouTube. But first, let me tell y'all what this film is about. Daniel embarks on a heartwarming journey guided by a sassy angel, y'all, to witness the first family Christmas. Friends, I have to say, I am very, very excited. I mean, I was excited before watching this film because I had already seen like some behind the scenes type of deal, like with the angel here, or the actress that plays the angel here, like really get to hear from her perspective, um, perspective as an actress, you know, what went into this film. So I was very, very excited about it. You know, that will make you excited about it, right? And so anyways, like I said in the synopsis, this sassy angel and show no, she was a bit sassy and I appreciated this different take on her on her personality because there's so many different films that angels are portrayed and more of a um either elite either like no personality at all or like super 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 over the top like perfect um to the point where it's almost like it's just straight perfection or is um they're a bit boring or a bit just uh he hesitant in a um, a sense and kind of lose you along the way where you can almost be thinking and second guessing yourself like is the angel will really be this way of course i mean unless you have encountered one on your own in real life real time we may never know that for sure and i'm just sure there's probably so many different types of angels as far as their personality so of course you know it's just it's just a range of personalities here but for this um, particular film i really did enjoy the angel cow here in this film oh my goodness she was hilarious she was sweet she had her moments where she was sweet she had so many moments of so real which really pulled me at um put me in as the audience because i'm like girl are you really what you saying where you coming from with that you really gonna give it to daniel like that you really gonna dish it out to him while he dished it to you okay i am here for this you tell him okay you are here sent by god like who is he to be questioning what god is doing i mean didn't you sit down and pray daniel you pray. You had some things happen to you and you um sit down and you prayed about it. So God into your prayers. You got the nerve to say, like, why you ain't helping me yet, God? And you got an angel standing right there in front of your face. Daniel, okay, you can do better. So that was so much fun just watching their banter back and forth to see their um relationship progress as they are journeying back into time back into bethlehem into those days and it just made me wonder yes oh and i oh uh, oh yeah yeah i gotta tell you about that i love their take on the story of the birth of jesus how that was presented in this film because it made joseph and mary seem more real like we really got to see exactly um mary her thoughts hear her thoughts like what would like her questioning and on um, wondering okay i get it i believe you god yes i know i'm carrying the son of god you know in my womb but what would joseph really think what would people really think i mean it really took you there as a human being like the human part of it made her seem more human as well as joseph we got to see um there was moments in this film the way joseph reacted to her that you can understand how any person who's in a relationship any man that's in a relationship with a woman you know you did not touch this woman like you can understand the thoughts that he could possibly be having here and the way that other films are portraying this particular story they, they do not go into detail and making them human making them more real and understandable and this film did that and it just made it so much more fun it made you feel like you were right there and it's just like huh oh god send me an angel i want an angel i want to journey back into time and see how it really went down I know, I know. I said a lot, yeah. But 
But anyways, y'all, that's pretty much what went down in this film. It was so, so much fun. Daniel character, I should, I guess I should have mentioned that at the beginning. I just got all caught up with the angel and all this stuff. But Daniel had something very, very traumatic happen to him, like literally right before Christmas. And a lot of people are experiencing that in our real time where people are, have um, been known to get laid off, fire and different things from their job. And it's just like, you can imagine how that could possibly feel when you are, you have a spouse that you are supporting and children on top of that and in Daniel's case he did have a child that uh, was in need of a lot of medical uh, attentions and his job covered all of those bills so you can imagine the stress that he had on him all of this right before Christmas so that was the prayer that Daniel sent up in regards to his situation that went down and then this whole other story unfold and you're gonna love it here but I cannot believe that I just did not have the scripture pulled aside for this but let me go ahead and pull that up now y'all take a minute and just relax relax think about what I just said okay and just um tell me in the comments let me know if you have already saw this if you have like your thoughts about it and you know all of that good um good stuff and if you plan on watching it please let me know I would love to hear about that as well but give me a moment right now to pull up the scripture because I don't want to leave you all without a scripture, you know. All right, so we're going to be coming out of Luke. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, we're going to be coming out of, yes, Luke 128. And it reads, the angel went to her and said, greetings you who are highly favored the lord is with you i mean isn't that like one of the best things in the world to hear but with that being said we're gonna go ahead and close this video out until next time may the lord bless and keep you both now and forevermore